Hello there, it's me, Sorry here again, and today I thought I'd make a an album, a sort of a file of facts album with pages that I've made myself with the computer program Word. I'm starting off here in June because this it's it's June here in Sweden right now, and I'm not going to be bothered about it having not being started from the get go, and. Um, I ju have just made simple tables and uh, placed out the week, the month and the year and the dates also, as well as the weekdays. The Sundays and the holidays I have marked out with red and I have put out some s stars in circles for things that I'm thinking that I need to do. Here, are, here is some space for me to just do some different kind of journaling perhaps or appointments and here I can put down uh, mementos or just reminders of when it comes to food or health or spiritual things and such. And at the bottom there is a saying, some kind of a sad quote that I'm hoping will strengthen me. And the pages go on like this. I have printed them out on one thing on one page, or actually two on this A4 size, then I just cut it in half. But I'm leaving the back side empty intentionally because I'm thinking that when I'm browsing through this calendar, I will have the space needed to do some added journaling for this week, perhaps. I could also add on some photos and things without it disturbing the flow of the complete week, as it were, would, would definitely do if I were to have a regular file of facts with, let's say, Monday to Thursday here and the rest of the week there. In this case, I can actually just fill in some extra pages if I wanted to and just m move on and browse through this. I will be showing you how I make my so-called hidden binding mini albums and I'll also... Uh, I will also perhaps later on later on show you how, how, how I've continued decorating this with some washi tape and such here and there perhaps. And I'm also thinking about perhaps putting in a couple of flaps or something just to divide the months as, uh, and separate them in a nice fashion. So in this case I have come thus far. What I have done here, I have actually cut some sort of a cardboard here which I have covered around the edges with some funky duct tape or duct tape. It says duct tape there, I have seen it being spelled duct tape and well I'm not really sure how come it's called duct tape. Uh, it doesn't really matter. In Sweden we call it uh, weaving tape or silver tape even, even though this one isn't silvery per se. I like it because it has a checkerboard pattern, I really do fancy that. And in order to actually just hide the edges of this and make it more durable, I decided on covering it like this. And I've also got cut another piece of paper to size to fit on top of it. So when I'm gluing it down to an extra hinge, let's say, or some extra backing, which I have covered with some black duct tape and punched the holes with that blue cinch to my left here, I'm hoping this will be durable enough to actually weather the storm, so to speak, actually be able to stand the manhandling in my bag, lifting it, lifting it up and up and down like so. So I thought I'd just show you. I have taken a piece of paper which is approximately from here. I have first scored it in half and then I've just decided on putting, let's say, a little bit more than half an inch here and there and have scored it in the other direction. So I would absolutely have this M looking shape here. And then I have glued the cardboard thing on one side and then I'm going to glue the other one on the other side. And in that case, I'm actually able to just hide whatever I need to hide as well as strengthen the book. So I will be putting on some really glue and strong, gluey and strong um, tape here. Uh, it is a, it's a really, really super strong tape. 
these come in various widths and of course the wider the easier to work with of course in this case I actually ran out of it so I have to go for this sort of semi wide tape and it goes pretty quickly I must say so I'm just going to put that tape there and peel off the backing of that tape and let's see where I'll end up later and in this case I'm hoping I'll be able to make really nice looking covers uh, but at least I've got that backing bit as I want it so now I've got my binder or my file system like this so in this case I can actually continue decorating this making this a bit sturdier I'm also thinking about actually making holes in the back putting on a, some, some, some sort of a rubber band so I can actually just pull it over like this keep the book closed so the pages won't flip and flap everywhere so now you see instead of having this one like that I'm going to take another piece like this and I'm just going to put it on top and cover it all up and make it even sturdier than before. And I'm making sure that I'm starting all the way in there and finishing it up at the end down here. I might have to do some bit of adjusting with the tape. I remember having a little bit of a problem on the other side there perhaps it does go a bit further in somehow but I'm not going to be that bothered about that sometimes my tongue isn't doing as my brain wants it to I'm telling you so I had better talk slowly now haven't, haven't I it's actually night time here it has been pretty rainy and thundery and lightningy weather here. We're not accustomed to that, so it has been pretty sort of both exciting and scary at the same time. So now we are here. And all I have to do is just take off the backing and fortunately it is pretty simple to work with this tape and I do prefer prefer using it because it is of that strong kind and since I'm using a slippery sort of surface underneath I really do need something that will stay in its place so and if you have a problem with tapes of this kind or actually the backings of that kind just crinkle them up that'll break the chemical chain or whatever so it'll actually work out better for you. Let's see if I can make it work from this direction instead then. Well, there it is. And I ought to have taken out the spirals, but I didn't. No. thinking of going a bit funky this time so I'm going to go for red even though it's not going to be that visible but I'm thinking that the, the thing that I am seeing from here will be funky enough could be that I'm inspired by could it be Mila from Project Runway she does make clothes in black and white mostly and well I just like to jazz up things a little bit so I'm just going to cut it off like that and before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to put this one like so. And if I were interested in putting some extra pieces, bits and pieces here, now would be the time. So I'm going to start by putting the pages in from the back. And in this case, I know that I have got one of those oh wire things too many there the pages aren't tall enough but I just have to live with that 
I have used something called CC paper, I think, I believe. And let's see that I'm getting this one in the right manner as well, since that one is a little bit taller than the other. So in this case, I'm hoping I'll be able to just pull it off. And this is what it's going to look like with the red one poking out there. So now I'm going to just take that and see what size it is. It is an inch. And I'm hoping that um, it will actually be sufficient for me. Because I didn't make the holes wider apart. I didn't think about that when I chose this wire now, did I? So let's keep our fingers crossed. Just going to pull that lever to the front. And you see, I'm just going to take it once more. Give it another squeeze. Just to sew this a bit closer together. And one more. Just to be on the safe side. Because I do like to have a pretty looking seam like that. So let's see where I'll end up right now. So this is the case. It is going to be a book which has lots of room for more pages and such. And it's going to be personal for sure. But I do like it and fancy, I like the idea of being able to do the writing like this. And you might wonder why I chose to just keep the calendar on one side. Well. First things first, I'm right-handed, so this is going to make it much easier for me to do the writing, whether as I would have it, have it on this side, because then the spiral would definitely be in the way. So in this way I'm actually making it easier for myself, and I'm hoping I'll be able to browse through this, and I'll be making those flap pages. I will probably laminate them as well, just to make them more durable and such. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of room here, so the flaps needn't be that tiny. And when it comes to making these albums with a hidden binding, you have to pay attention to this bit. This one is actually going to put the pages out a little bit. You might actually just think about, well, this is an inch in diameter, I'm sure. So you have to sort of count for them at least a three quarters of an inch going outside. So you need to have your binder bits bigger than the pages in, on the inside. I hope I'm making myself clear here. So just imagine me having a rubber band in the back here. So I would be able to pull it on, on top of there. And then I just have to figure out how to decorate this front. And well then I'm hoping I'll be ready to go. So, wish me luck with my checkerboard Philo, homemade Philo, that is. Alright, thank you for your patience. Alright, bye-bye.